Mouse, graphic novel, from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, www.wikipedia.org. Mouse, a survivor's tale, is a graphic novel by Art Spiegelman that recounts his father's struggle to survive the Holocaust as a Polish Jew. The book also follows the author's troubled relationship with his father and the way the effects of war reverberate through generations of a family. In 1992, it won the Pulitzer Prize Special Award as the Pulitzer Committee could not decide whether to categorize it as fiction or biography. Spiegelman portrays different ethnic groups as different species of animals. Jews are depicted as mice, German mouse, Germans as cats, French as frogs, Poles as pigs, Americans as dogs, Swedes as reindeer, and gypsies as moths. The use of anthropomorphism, a familiar device from children's cartoons and comic strips, was an ironic nod to Nazi propaganda images that depicted Jews as rats and Poles as pigs. Publication in Poland was delayed because of this artistic device. The book alternates the stories told by his father, Vladek Spiegelman, about life in the ghetto and Auschwitz, with the contemporary life of Art, Vladek, and their surroundings. As in Don Quixote, the second part also deals with the impact of the publication of the first part. Through the book, Spiegelman shows how his father, in spite of his experience, still shows racial precedence against black people, or how he is extremely stingy and makes life very difficult for those around, such as his second wife Mala, after the suicide of Art's mother Anya, also a KZ survivor. Publication Most of the book was serialized in the Spiegelman-edited Raw magazine. It was then published in two parts, Volume 1, My Father Bleeds History, and Volume 2, Here My Troubles Began, before eventually being integrated into a single volume. A CD-ROM edition also exists, although it is no longer in print. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html. This file was read by Colin Gregory Palmer.